Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer, and Tom Hartman on RT decided he's going to try and set us straight on the scientific uh, interpretation of man-made global warming. Now, this is a graph, okay, of global warming. And the green one, that's what's really going on. And the red one, well, that's the hockey stick graph, right? Well, guess what? The hockey stick graph managed to get rid of the modern medieval warming period where it was warmer than it is now without all the CO2. Jeez, and he also got rid of the maunder minimum there when it was really, really cold. And of course, he's ending here on his hockey stick blade at the other end, shooting up in red. And if we extrapolate to the year 2013 from back around 2000, it should be up 0.9 degrees. And yet, no change over the past 16 years. So, CO2's been going up still. And yet, the hockey stick temperature broke off. And they used a trick to hide the decline. And it wasn't a decline, it was a complete break off. So, that's my interpretation. Remember the hockey stick fraud as we now take a look at Tom Hartman's interpretation of what's going on. So, this is Tom Hartman's take on us global warming deniers. The scientists are wrong but not the way you think. As global warming picks up, scientists and researchers are finally beginning to come to grips with just how very serious this problem is. Gee, I just showed you how global warming broke off 16 years ago. Does he continue to be fooled by the trick they use to hide the decline? 16 years of fool, Tom, wake up! And how quickly we're running out of time to solve. <laughs> For example, when it comes to sea level oh. and sea level increases, I hear that's bullshit. This is notoriously underestimated how fast the waters would be rising. They're all estimates, though. Sea levels are rising much faster 2010. than the IPCC predictions. These were the predictions. That was 2010. Guess what? It didn't go up as he shows. Wow, that's a complete lion graph. Wow. Bet a hundred bucks, the graph's wrong! Over the last two decades. Wow. Scientists also underestimated the extent of ice melting in the Arctic. <laughs> Wasn't this year just a record for ice with like a 50% new growth making the news as we're all freezing our butts off last winter? What charts are you looking at, Tom? Disappearing at a much faster clip than even the direst predictions. Oh, by the way, the Antarctic ice is going up too. <laughs> Sometimes it may go up and, you know, balances. In the blue line is the standard of the predictions. These are the, you know, different sets of math predicting this. And this is what's actually been observed. This is where we are right Different sets of math. What does that mean? Different sets of data, maybe? Different, different sets of math. Hmm, fascinating. Yes, sir. Low tech's telling us about high tech stuff. In just a few years, we're going to have our first ice-free Arctic summer in roughly 700,000 years. Keep in mind, human... All right. I give a 1,000 to a 100 on that one, okay? <laughs> All right. Come on. Beans have only been on this planet for 165,000 years. Unless we got a lot of volcanoes underneath, because it certainly isn't anything warming on top. 700,000 years before the onset of humanity. On top of all of that, scientists have also consistently underestimated just how much carbon dioxide we humans are dumping into the atmosphere. So the hockey stick graph is actually worse if the CO2's worse, and yet it broke off! Come on, Tom! My God, what a fun window. Again, the actual measurements now available. Oh, to look, it's going up more than they said! Uh, projections for the last couple of decades, 2000, 2005, 2010. This is what they were projecting, the scientists, the IPCC, all those people that, you know, the right-wingers go, oh, they're alarmists. This is what they're projecting. This is what we're actually seeing. Wow. So there's been even more carbon dioxide than I thought to have no temperature rise. <laughs> Proving my point, Tom. So what's with the history of underestimation? 
The problem is the history of overestimation. And you're still pulling it. A team of researchers at the University of Alberta recently published a paper in the journal Global Environmental Change characterizing this dangerous trend of low-balling estimates of global warming. Especially when there ain't been any for 16 years. <laughs> They're low-balling zero. The available evidence oh. suggests the scientists have in fact been conservative in their projections of the impact of climate change particularly in IPCC assessments of the physical science. Scientists are not biased toward alarmism. Oh, no, they're not. Rather, the reverse, toward oh, yeah. cautious estimates. We call this the tendency. So they use the trick to hide the decline, to exaggerate, yes, the, uh, the increase in temperature, but cautious estimates. <laughs> cautious false estimates. See, a caring on the side of least drama. Yeah, 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 sure. Why is it happening? It's simple. When going up against a well-funded, ruthlessly powerful special interest like the fossil fuel industry... Doesn't matter who is right when you're wrong. Oh, these are big guys who are right. Yeah, okay, some big guys happen to be right and you're still wrong. Scientists know that if they rock the boat too much or even appear to, they might be targeted and discredited. Okay, now we all know the truth is the opposite of that. The guys who were trying to say, hey, there's no extra temperature, are the guys who were frozen out of the journals and discredited. Ooh, reverse. Oh, yeah, slide. Just ask Michael Mann. Ah! His infamous hockey stick chart shows the recent extreme uptake in global temperatures since the Industrial Revolution. Broke off! Didn't make it up there. After releasing the hockey stick, should be up point nine. He instantly it's not. Was it's still down here. Conservative and fossil fuel industry shill. Yes, sir. For far too long, <laughs> on not ruffling feathers, on finding economically viable solutions, on depending on the oil companies to lead us through an energy transition, it hasn't worked. Oh, you're talking about bad stuff they might be doing. It's got nothing to do with the issue, okay? Clouding the issue, Tom. The planet is getting hotter, even quicker. Guilt by association. The IPCC projection shows that at least a 5 degree Celsius temperature increase will happen by 2100. And even if countries around the world reduce carbon emissions immediately, the planet will still warm over 2 degrees, which will happen. It's supposed to have warmed 0.9 already by 2013, according to the extrapolation of the hockey stick graph. Halfway there. Now we got another 90 years to wait before it hits the second degree? I think you're underestimating, Buster. Your hockey stick graph, do some extrapolation with a ruler. You'll see what it ends up. By 100 years down the road, we should probably be about 6 or 7, according to the hockey stick graph. Get your rulers out, kiddies. Check the lie. Catastrophic consequences. Oh, yeah. You've been lied to the catastrophically. Of global projections, our planet could be headed for even warmer temperatures. Actually, it wasn't such a bad time during the medieval warming period, you know. Lots of grapes growing to the north, lots of building, lots of partying, not many icebergs. What's so bad about And a lot of plants, because they like to have a lot of CO2. They eat it all. Fortunately, over the past year, some scientists have said, the hell with the right-wingers, I'm going to tell the truth, even if it does mean that they're going to attack me. <laughs> I wish he'd name one of these scientists he keeps referring to, okay? I'm John the Engineer with a real science degree, and I'm willing to back up what I say with a bet. And they're right. Now is the time oh, they're for right. us and our politicians to also speak back to the big money interests who don't seem to give a damn about planet Earth. Guilt by association, it's not the big money interests. I'm not the big money interest. I just don't like being lied to. And then taxed on top of it for nothing. I'd rather spend my tax on burying nuclear than fighting off a degree of warmth. Gonna get a lot more warm with nuclear. Global warming and global climate change, whatever you call it, is real. It's caused by us in large part, and we can stop it if we act quickly enough. Oh, there it is, the low-tech opinion of Tom Hartman. He thinks he can do something about how the sun affects Mother Nature.
Oh, how incredible. The dithering is over. It's time to act. This came out yesterday. I mean, how long can a guy stay fooled by the same trick? So anyway, there's someone trying to do a hit piece on us global warming deniers. Man ain't doing it. If it went up, it was a natural fluctuation of the sun. And I think his hit piece fell weak.